As you can see, this patch of flowers is being visited by many insects, but which insects are they? How can we identify them? The purpose of this video is to make it possible for you to identify the insects on flowers into several major categories. Maybe the easiest place to start is with the butterflies because everybody knows what they are. And of course there are also moths, so you already know that category. Obviously there's more than one type of butterfly, but in many cases all we need to know is it's a butterfly or a moth. When we look at butterflies and moths on flowers, most of what we see will be butterflies, but there are quite a large number of day-flying moths in Britain. Now we've identified the butterflies and moths, maybe the best place to continue is the bumblebees, because everybody already knows what they are. They're these large, stocky bees, almost bear-shaped. But the size of bumblebees is quite variable because some of them are very large queens and some of them are quite small workers. But they all have this very characteristic, stocky shape. The bumblebees are over 20 species in Britain. So in terms of their colour, their colour is actually quite variable. Some of them are brown, some of them are black with a red abdomen, black and white stripes and so on. Now we've done bumblebees, let's move on to the honeybees. The honeybees are just one species, but they're very numerous. They're all the same size because they're all worker bees. They are much more slender than a bumblebee and not quite as large. And their colour is quite variable from mostly black or dark brown to having patches of yellow or tan on them. So the honeybees are a little bit tricky because they're not so characteristic as the bumblebees. One way that you can identify a honeybee is this. Honeybees and bumblebees are the only bees which carry pollen on their pollen basket on their hind leg. So if you see a bee with pollen on its hind leg in a pollen basket, you know it has to be either a honeybee or a bumblebee. In Britain we have over 250 bee species. There's about 20-odd bumblebees, one species of honeybee. That means there's over 200 species of other types of wild bees in Britain. They are quite variable. Some of them are larger than a honeybee, and some of them are extremely small, maybe only 5 millimetres long. And they're also quite variable in colour. So the best approach is to say, first of all, is it a bee? Is it a honeybee? Is it a bumblebee? If not, it's one of the other bees. In general, the bees are fairly easy to recognise because most of them are somewhat hairy and they're collecting pollen and nectar. One of the tricky things in identifying insects on flowers is that some insects, like hoverflies and also some moths and some beetles, mimic bees and wasps. So they look extremely like other insects. And we do have hoverflies in this country that look very much like a bumblebee, quite large and furry, like a honeybee like a wasp. Now you can recognise the hoverflies as being different to the honeybees and other bees because they've only got two wings, they've got very short antennae and their eyes are generally much larger. And the hoverflies are extremely numerous. After the bees, they are the most numerous insects that you will normally see on flowers. And to make matters a bit more complicated, there's 250 species in Britain. Hoverflies are a type of fly, but we also find many other types of flies on flowers. Depending on the time of year, they can be extremely numerous. So here it's, it's a fly, it's got two wings, 
large eyes, short antennae, but it's not a hoverfly. And another category is really all other insects. You sometimes see beetles and so on on flowers. So everything else can be considered another category. In the research we've been doing at the Sussex University, very roughly what we have found is that on garden plants, over 80% of the insects we see are bees, of which the bumblebees and the honeybees are the most common. Second in abundance are the hoverflies. And then butterflies and moths are typically one, two or three percent, not very numerous. But it does vary from plant to plant and from time to time. So when you can recognize these broad categories like bumblebee or butterfly, you can quite easily go further and now take them to the species level. Mm -hmm.